Now I would respectfully request our chief guest to say a few words for us. Thank you, Madame. Thank you very much. I, uh, I'm from Quebec, Canada. As you know, Canada has two official languages, English and French. So I'll be giving my speech in French. Uh, I thought you <laughs> I, I could try and then see how we can read that. Because you'd have to have a, 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 another school of languages that we could be able to spread. And I've come here as a professor. Uh, thank you very much for receiving me. I, I've been here, I've been in Bangladesh now for four days and I have to admit it's been quite an experience. And uh, I was not expecting, first of all, to see my name ahead of the town. Uh, uh, with his uh, thousands of Bangladesh voters in his writing, I thought he'd have a, at least two titles above me. So I'm, I'm quite proud to be, uh, for once in my life, I, I, I've got a status ahead of his which I don't normally have in Canada because I, uh, we, we have two chambers. We have the House and the Senate. Theoretically, the Senate is supposed to be the upper chamber. Trust me, they don't know that at the House of Commons. <laughs> they, they, know, they know we're the second chamber. I have jokingly, I have the, I've had the pleasure. I, I've been, uh, I joke about the Senate sometimes, but I've been in both chambers. When I was uh, an Italian's age, uh, I was a member of Parliament also uh, in the House of Commons before uh, uh, going on to do an MBA, actually, and then uh, coming back as a senator. So uh, I've been in both houses, both chambers, and in the House of Commons. Uh, and uh, I know how hard it is for, for Nate to get, to get elected. I tried to get re-elected, and it didn't work. Uh, so I took the other place. It was an easier. Cause it, 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 this uh, this, in, this uh, initiative by uh, your your founder, by the group uh, of, of trying to sell Canadian knowledge and helping uh, promote Canada and our way of doing things, I think is a, an extraordinary initiative, and I, I certainly hope that it will be a success because it's been it's been a year, so it's so far so good, like so far so good. Uh, but I, I would hope that uh, when you have your, uh, I don't know, maybe your 10th anniversary, who knows, maybe I will be invited to come and address uh, uh, the class again, and some of you will be professors by then. So thank you very much for having me. I'd like to request our another chief guest, the Honorable Nathaniel Smith, Member of Parliament for Toronto, to say a few words. He is a Liberal Member of the House of Commons of Canada, who was elected in 2015 to represent the Toronto riding of Beaches, East York. He is the youngest member of parliament in the greater Toronto area. Before politics, he practiced as a lawyer. Sir. So, uh, uh, it's, it's wonderful to be here, and thank you to Nafiz and everyone who has made this happen over the last year, really brought the Canadian University to life. I, um, I don't just represent the riding in Toronto, I represent the riding in Toronto with 4,000 Bangladeshi Canadian citizens uh, or, or permanent residents. And I, um, uh, coming, I'm a member of the Indian Parliament Reunion, as is, as is my colleague Dennis. Um, and we've gone on a few travels together, uh, whether it's Zambia or, or Geneva. And as luck would have it, we were scheduled to come to Dhaka. And it was uh, it mattered a great deal to me because representing the constituency that I do, I can tell you, as a, I was, I'm 32 now. I was 29 when I first thought to get involved in politics, so three years ago. And in my riding, I grew up in my riding, my parents were teachers in my riding, so I, I, knew, I knew some of my riding, but I knew the south end of my riding, the beaches area. And I, I was less familiar with East York and, and the Bengali community. And I have to tell you, I was immediately welcomed into the Bengali community, and they have been so supportive uh, of me and, and supportive of my, uh, my aspirations of politics. That I, I would not be standing, I would not be standing in the House of Commons, but for that support, I would not be standing here in front of you with, without that support. And so, when visiting Doc and visiting Bangladesh, it's like uh, it's the country that matters most to me, except for Canada. So, um, I'll tell you. I, uh, a few, a few small things. We're uh, we're building a Shogi Banar in, in, uh, in my riding. Of course, I go to International Language Day in February. Uh, every year, and I would like to recognize uh, Alam uh, is the owner of a restaurant in our riding. It's really the 
uh, and, and Alam and Bokum, two constituents of mine who have come to DACA because they, uh, in the same way, uh, the Canada Bangladesh relationship matters so much to me, it matters so much to them, and they've come back this week just because they knew I was coming and they wanted to be supportive of my of my visit here. Uh, to take me around, and they take me to see the Shaheed Dinar here, the uh, Bhagavandu Museum. Um, and so thank you so much. And Alam owns a restaurant uh, on the Danforth in my riding uh, that is really a, a hub of the Bengali community. And so when I mentioned attending the International Language Day ceremony, it is uh, in the parking lot behind his restaurant. And, and, and one day, perhaps, it will be at a, a, a hopefully soon, it will be at a permanent Shaheed Dinar in our riding. So uh, other small things, you know, I hope, I hope we recognize International Language Day in our House of Commons next February 21st. I've spoken in the House of Commons recognizing International Language Day already. A colleague, a colleague of mine, former police chief in Toronto, Bill Blair, he has a large Bengali constituency as well. Of course, there's a dividing line, we're neighbors in our ridings, there's a dividing line between our ridings it's artificial, but the Bengali community spreads out over both in Toronto, and he recognized in the House just the other day, uh, Independence Day, and specifically it's important my colleague on the provincial side worked very hard to have our provincial legislature recognize Bangladesh Heritage, Bangladesh Heritage Month in March uh, in honor of, of, of Independence Day at the end of March. So the last thing I, I would make note of is um, when I started out knocking on doors and meeting new people and, and uh, really being welcomed into the Bengali community, uh, we're, we're sort of a second, a second generation Bengali community in Canada now. So uh, the very first generation of Koken and Alam, their, their kids are now growing up as, as uh, maybe not Bangladeshi Canadians, but Canadian Bangladeshis. And uh, they, uh, in, uh, in the Indian community, you, they tell you, oh, we, we, we have Little India, we shut down Little India, and we celebrate a uh, festival, and, and we celebrate our community in Canada. And that's one thing about Canada, our multiculturalism. When you knock on doors in the Greek community, uh, also on the Danforth, but a little further west of me, uh, they shut down the street and they celebrate uh, a festival in Greek town. In our, uh, we don't yet call it Bongo Town, we might call it Bongo Town uh, one day, but uh, in the Danforth, in my community, we have a parade, of, you know, for New Year's, and on April 15th, we'll be celebrating uh, Bangladesh and Bengali New Year and having a parade, but we, uh, we don't shut down the street. So this coming year, it's Canada's 150th anniversary, and we will be uh, hopefully shutting down the street and we'll be celebrating Bangladesh in Canada as, as we celebrate 150 years. And, and on that note, I would just say, I know the university has been only, uh, it's been open for one year now. And so because it's Canada's 150th anniversary, and I wish everyone here uh, 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 the best in your future, uh, I mean, once you graduate from uh, Canadian University here, but I do hope I will be in full of the next 149 years. Mr. Andrew Goodrich, Parliamentary Assistant at Parliament of Canada, to say a few words for us. Hello, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming today. Uh, you've all been such wonderful, gracious hosts. I want to say thank you very much for that. And also, anytime that you're thinking about coming to Canada, you let our office know so that you can come on and see us. Uh, we would love to have you all in uh, Toronto, in Beaches East York, and uh, bring a little bit of Bangladesh back to Canada. Thank you. Majibin, um, Miss MP, to say a few words. Good afternoon. You must be thinking why I'm here. Actually, I have connection with Canada, my two sons. They study in Canada, University of Toronto. I'll tell you a little story. When they start, started applying for uh, universities, we told him, like, why don't you apply in America or UK? They, in, both of them, insisted Canada. So for my elder one, I said, why do you want to go to Canada? And he said, like, no, I, I hate USA. I'm not going to go to USA. So. She he actually um, went to Canada and got admission and he's finishing this year. It's been five years, almost five years. And uh, once he went there, I started traveling to Canada, not only in Toronto, but all over Canada. I must say he was right because Canada is a wonderful city, like a country, and the people are so nice and it's so multicultural. No racism, nothing, and people are friendly. So I really recommend you all to like if you're interested or if you really want to continue with your studies you should aim for Canada. <laughs>
marketing for you guys. <laughs> and um, you know, with Canada and Bangladesh, we have friendship for last 40 years, and Canada and Bangladesh is, they are going to celebrate their 40 years anniversary. And uh, after our independence, liberation war, a war that Canada was the first country to recognize us as an independent country. So we have long history in Canada. Uh, trade, bilateral trade, uh, then economic, political, everything. Like we have such friendship with them. And I'm, I'm sure it go, it's going to continue it, and it is going to be going uh, in, in, with, with the MPs coming. And we actually, uh, actually we have th more than 100,000 people living in Canada right now. So, I'm sure it is going to be deepen, more deepen, you know? Okay, thank you, thank you so much. And thank you again for Without getting too deep into politics, I don't, I'm an American. But uh, <laughs> without getting too deep into politics, I don't, I don't think there are many Americans that wouldn't like to be Canadians right now. So uh, we, we very much, all of us very much appreciate it. That's our chairman. Vice Chancellor and Mrs. Selena Ali to hand over the crest to our guests as the token of our gratitude. So, first, Senator Quebec and honorable guest of honor MP Meza bin Khalid, uh, <coughs> Mr. Andrew Murphridge, <coughs> Parliamentary Assistant at Parliament of Canada, uh, Brigadier General Shumon Reza, Director, DZFI, my fellow colleagues, students, faculty members, journalists, ladies and gentlemen, Salam Alaikum. I feel truly honored to have uh, the Honorable MP Nathaniel Smith, um, Dennis Dawson here with us today. Me and my family uh, actually voted uh, for him in Toronto. So personally, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful he's here. Um, uh, we vote in our home city in Toronto and we are uh, overjoyed to get the news when he got elected as the MP for Beaches East York, Toronto. I'm also to honor our uh, guest, Mr. Andrew. He's very helpful over there and here as well. So thank you so much. Um, I'm, I'm, thank you. So it's all for you, our student. I hope you, you, you know, you will get lots of uh, guidelines from them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Show it, please.